Okay, in this video I'm going to be going over uh, what the at n symbol is that you may have seen on the TI-89 titanium before. So, to show what this symbol is, I'm just going to go over a simple problem here. Where is sine x equal to cosine x on the interval 0 to 2 pi? So, first we want to solve this to so go to f2. And it's, you don't need to do it this way. This is a really easy problem, but just for illustrative purposes. So go to F2, solve, second, sine, x, equal to cosine, cosine is over the z, x, and then you put a comma, and what you're solving for is x, and then say enter. And you get an answer that looks like this. It's 4 times at n. 3 minus 3 times pi over 4. It doesn't look like it makes too much sense at the beginning, but if you think about it, sine and cosine are both cyclical, and we didn't put any bounds on the solution. So it's going to be the answer reoccurs in multiple integer values of n. So you can put n equal to 1, equal to 2, or even the negative values. So what you can do here is put bounds on this. So use your vertical evaluation bar and put 0 second less than x less than, and you can put anything, I'm going to put 2 pi because that's what the problem says, 2 pi, and enter. And now you can see the two values are pi over 4 and 5 pi over 4 for the interval 0 to 2 pi. And it's completely evident if you just look at a graph. I have them both entered here. Y equals sine x, y equals cosine x. And graph. And you can see at two points, pi over 4 and 5 pi over 4, the two graphs intersect on the interval 0 to 2 pi. And that's what the at n symbol is on the TI-89. And this is how you can get two answers for a single interval, if that's what you're trying to do. Hope this video helps. Thanks.